for those of you new here, welcome. My name is Katie, I'm a wife, I'm a mom, and I work full time. I love makeup and skincare. I truly believe every single woman wants to look and feel her best and have the tools and the resources to help you get there. And today I'm gonna be sharing with you the Cover Girl Clean Fresh, and it says it's a healthy look pressed powder. I'm applying the shade 160 medium, and I was taking a look at the Cover Girl website. So this foundation only comes in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different shades. Uh, so what it says is this is a full coverage powder compact. Um, and so I feel like oftentimes if you have something that only comes in nine shades, it's normally like a, a not full coverage. So we will see what this looks like. It's interesting because the sponge was not in with the compact. This is a little sponge applicator. I highly recommend if you're using pressed powder, use this sponge only for touch-ups. I personally, this compact does not have a separator. One of the things I really like about my unique compact is that the app, the sponge sits in the bottom part. So the sponge isn't sitting there on the powder. And this is really helpful because what happens is your skin produces oils. And when you touch that sponge to, to your skin and then you set it in the product, you oftentimes will see discoloration in your product. So I would recommend if you are going to carry this on the go and you have a need for the sponge, maybe even like put the sponge in like a little plastic bag or again, I know this may seem high maintenance, but for me personally, if I'm gonna have to do that, I might as well have my powder concealer brush. I personally, I love this brush for touching up my pressed powder. And so if I'm gonna take the extra effort to have something additional to carry just this little sponge in, I might as well take my nice powder concealer brush for touch-ups on the go. All right, so one thing before I got started, I did put on this Ulta Beauty Mattifying Face Primer. I'm giving this a try, so I will be sure to let you know how that goes in another video. But let's get into this pressed powder, all right? I've let that primer set for about five minutes or so. I'm ready to go in with this foundation. And what this says is it's going to reduce shine and set makeup with the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Pressed Powder. I'm just looking straight at the website. I'm not like, making stuff up. Uh, it says this is a talc-free face powder. Um, it's formulated with tapioca and aloe vera powder to absorb oil and keep shine at bay. It's a 100% vegan setting powder that makes pores less visible so skin looks and feels smooth. You can apply it on the go in a flash with the vegan foam puff and the full coverage compact. Oh, okay, so this makes much more sense. This is not full coverage. This is shade 160, which is, um, um, well, this numbering is very confusing. All right, so this compact says 160 medium, and 160 medium is what it says on the website. So this must be the full, Coverage powder? I don't know. I'm kind of confused. So there's nine shades total. Total. There's one that's translucent. I don't know. They're like numbers aren't really adding up. I, I'm a little confused as to how they're describing things on the website. So for example, it says that the full coverage powder compact comes in four shades, fair, light, medium, and dark. And medium is 140, but this says medium is 160. So I'm wondering if this is not meant to be a full coverage powder, if there's another powder that I can get that's more full coverage. I don't know. Let's just go into this. I'm gonna take my powder concealer brush from Unique and I'm gonna put this on to the skin and we will just find out really quick if it is full coverage or not. All right, so I'm just going in with this powder, pressing it into the skin. My guess is that this is not the full coverage because I am not seeing a whole lot of coverage happening. I think this is more of like a, a colored setting powder. Let me see here. I'm gonna get my handy dandy mirror and take a look and see how it's going onto the skin. Yeah, I would say that this is supposed to be maybe more of like a 
colored setting powder. So it's going to give you like a little bit more coverage, but not a whole lot. I, I do that. I do like that it is matte. So I'm anxious to see how it wears throughout the day. So stay tuned for that. But I think that's what it is, is that this particular one, it's not necessarily like full, full coverage, but I do like how it goes on. It does build nicely if you want to build on a little bit more coverage. So initially out the gate, now that I think I understand what's happening, I will say that, you know, I like the way that the powder looks on the skin, but stay tuned. The real test is going to be how it wears throughout the day. So I will be back to report and give you that update. So what I have discovered with this CoverGirl Clean Fresh is that I really like putting it on top of whatever liquid foundation that I'm wearing. So for example, today I'm wearing the CoverGirl Plus Olay Simply Ageless Foundation. It's a three-in-one foundation and I'm wearing the shade 260, which is a classic tan. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of the pressed powder. Again, this is 160 medium, and I'm going to kind of just take my powder concealer brush and dust this all over the face. And again, I absolutely love the matte coverage that this powder gives me when I wear the foundation in this way. So again, I don't think that this particular foundation was designed to be worn on its own for like full coverage. It's more of to be wear, worn in combination with another product if you want a little bit additional coverage and more of that matte finish. So I will be back to let you know how it is wearing throughout so the day. So I'm back, end of the day, let me get my handy mirror here so I can really get a close up and see. I put this powder on top of my foundation today. Again, I've been doing it a couple of times and I will tell you that I do like this powder best on top of some type of a liquid foundation. I think that it looks nicer than just trying to wear it on its own. Again, I'm still a little confused, like what's full coverage versus medium coverage. I think that that could be like a little bit more clear on the packaging, but overall a nice little pressed powder to put on top of a foundation. So there you have it. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. If you like these types of videos, give me a thumbs up. Let me know that in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell. So that way, anytime I post a new video, you are notified. Have a great day.